Life with Belsif here. Good morning. How's it going today? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Jim. It's been so friggin' hot the last couple days. After work, all I've done is come home and friggin' crashed. It's been busy. Busy, busy at work. And it's been hot. Ball sweating down to your friggin' ankles hot. Brian called me last night. He says, hey, Bell. Say, hey, Brian. Get the pool out. Want to come for a swim? Yeah, I'd love to, dude, but no. Plus, I got a pool. Oh, he goes like, oh. He's like, my ass is so chafed today from f***ing sweating all day that I just gotta go home. Jim. It was all right. So I went home and I had a shower and laid on the goddamn couch. Can't work like a dog anymore and come home with energy. That's it, I quit. Quit today. I gotta go to Wafford this morning, do a back class. I gotta go do a transport Chucky. Gotta go do a, gotta do, you know, there's other stuff too. I can't remember. Oh, an M2. Which reminds me, I have to look up a windshield first thing this morning, make sure it's right one. I gotta stop at the old team truckage this morning and have a look-see and see what's on her. See if it's a one with a camera or one without a camera or... One with a slon dong or wing wing or doodad whatnot. Thingma bobber. So, a couple videos ago, maybe last video, I can't remember. I think last video. I was talking about my drone. I got a battery on the Maverick Air 2 that got super friggin' hot. It stopped, you know, if you hold it and it goes three lights and it comes on and then you hold it, it goes three lights and it shuts off. Well, it wouldn't shut off or turn on. But when I put it in the aircraft, it automatically started the aircraft. So it's like, well, what the frick's going on? Jim? So I took off with it and I did a fly around this, that, and the other thing to drain the batteries to maybe recharge it. Brought her down, hovering above my head, and all I could smell was battery. So I landed that prick pretty quick. I couldn't even touch the battery, it was so freaking hot. Skunk. But the other two batteries, they're mint. Jim, you see that skunk? Whew. Captain, probably caught that in the camera, I did. Emailed DJI and they said, oh, if you're flying in over 40 Celsius, you know, it's really overheating. And if the, the remote's telling you that it's hot and this, that, and the other frick thing. I was like, the remote's not even hot. I said, the aircraft didn't warn me. I was like, it's a battery, not the aircraft. So you mean, he emailed them back and said, listen. Oh, they wanted me to send the whole freaking drone in. I said, listen, the drone's working fine with the other two batteries. It's one battery that's acting up. It's not working properly. The battery's decker. So I don't want to send you in the whole aircraft for one battery. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. But I can tell right now, it's just going to be fucking cluster fucking deal with those batteries are $115 US a piece. So I'll have to see what turns of that, and I'll let you know. If you want to know, leave a comment down below if you want to know. If you don't want to know, don't leave a comment down below and I won't bother you again about it. But just saying. I'm kind of cocked over it is. But we'll see what their reply is to go from there. So, on that note, I almost hit a skunk. Alright, yeah. So in a couple weeks I have another week holidays coming up. We haven't got anything planned for that one. That one's just going to be a family deal. I'm going to stick around the house. I don't know if we're going to go on a two-day camping trip or not or whatever. We'll have to see. Kelly and Sean put their name on the list for seasonal at Glasgow, I heard, so maybe they'll be go seasonal one day and then it'll just be me and Stevie left that are still transients, which is fine with me. I ain't what if I'm seasonal. I don't want to be obligated to go somewhere and maintain it. No, not, not me. I'm good, thanks. Maybe once I'm older. Fuck, but once I'm older, I want to live in a trailer park. Huh? I want to be a trailer park bum. Maybe move into Sunnyvale or something, Jim. Nah, there's too many drugs in Sunnyville. So we need a good day's rain. Because I don't know about you guys, but leave your comments down below if it's been drier than dicks where you are. Holy, there's a lot of skid marks on the road. But it's been friggin' dry here. And I'm telling you right now, it's dry here. If you don't believe me, just ask me, I'll tell you. But we need a good day's worth of rain. Anyone else? The corn's not growing real quick because it needs rain. Got spotty sections. Even though corn loves dry, but this is really dry. So one day this week, hopefully we'll get some rain. That's all I can say. Let me know in your neck of the woods if it's dry, wet, cold, hot, sloppy, whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know. This is just a driving around video today with Dirty Old Bill, something it is. Driving to work video. Might have to end it driving to work video because I've been talking the whole damn time driving. So this is going to be like a freaking seven minute video. Holy. I'm trying to wake myself up. You guys are helping me. Wifey Poo gave me a pretty co combination sandwich today. She gave me a egg salad sandwich and she gave me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What's really going on? Be lucky to eat either one of them. Friggin' so damn hot out. 
Oh crap, I forgot my freaking cooler. I meant to bring a cooler for the old work van and Ruski put some water in her gym. Hey, if you're listening there, Kool-Aid or Cooltron or Cooler Coolers, send me one of them damn things, would you? I was nice enough to give mine to Chris and Emma. Good old godforsaken country. I think they're godforsaken country now, aren't they? Or something like that. And I miss that son of a bitch I do. If you're listening, Chris and Emma, I don't want it back. I'm just saying, I miss that son of a bitch I do. Miss the old cooler you plug in. They, used, they were decent. So I'm going to either look one up or maybe I'll get sent one by, you know, a company that wants me to review it. But I doubt it because why would they? Plus, I probably wouldn't reply to their emails anyways because I stopped doing that stuff. So I'll have to see there. Let me know but down below if you have one of them. And let me know how you like it. The old plug in the cigarette lighter or adapter to plug in wall cooler. They don't get super cold, but they get they get cool. Slow down, Bill. 50 zone. Careful. Don't get a ticky. Nothing worse than a ticky on the way to worky. This guy's having a walk fast. Look at him. He's already sweating like a son of a bitch. It's a hot out gym. I'm telling you. It's like 140 out right now. Add the humid decks in there and it's like 150. Do you believe me? Probably not. I wouldn't. Red light. Frick's sakes. Copper. Frick's sakes. Careful. Just giving her a 50. Heaven forbid we speed in the 50. <sighs> I'm freezing my camera. Look at the lens on it, Jim. Oh, that's a window. My apology. I got the AC on too cold of you. It's just cock right over. Captain. Pull in here real quick and have a gander at this thing. And then we'll go from here. She's just a normal windshield on the old m 2 inch. Yeah, yeah, I know my seatbelt's not on. Go fuck yourself. I'm almost there. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go. I'm just about to work here. I'm gonna get down there, get situated, and get at her for the day. And uh, get her done and over with. Freaking right. So hopefully everybody else has a good day at work, if you're going to work like I am. Don't forget to leave your comments down below because I always like to know what's really going on. You know that for sure. Have a great day, stay safe, love you all. Until next time, you know what to do for now.